Welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village. In the last episode, we did a lot of building. We built this castle barn here for all of the wool and the milk to go into. We built this warehouse over here for the iron that comes out of this ore mine and the wood that's over here to go into so that this doesn't get full all the time. Um, and then we did a lot over here too. We, um, we built the pig pen. We built two more farms. We are almost done with this castle barn here. We're working on the school. We are working on another hunting cabin over in this area to get some of these animals that have been around uh, somewhere in here. And then we, we moved our pigs over from this one. We moved half the pigs over here so that they grow quicker and we have more pigs. And hopefully we'll get more meat this year. And that's most of what we did. Um, we also got most of the fruits from all of the orchards. We finally have a lot of people, so we are actually getting more fruit now than we were before. And we still have, even though it's the middle of winter, we still have over 8,000 8, fruit. We have 42,000 vegetables, so we're doing really good on that. So we're really just missing the fish and meat portion of um, our food groups. So hopefully getting this pig pasture going and then maybe we'll build another pig pasture in here, an even bigger one, and have a lot of meat coming. Um, let's get rid of some of these trees just so that I can start planning where we're going to put the other pig pasture. I also planned out another house here, another farm, a uh, field, farm, whatever you want to call it, another caravan stables here so that we have one on this side to move things around here. What are we moving here? Potatoes. We are moving potatoes from this barn because we've got a lot of them here over into this one because uh, we really don't have a whole bunch of vegetables on this side. Um, we have some in here, a decent amount in here, but it'll be nice for these people to not have to go super far to get more vegetables. Um, and we are also working on getting more charcoal by having the kilns going. We've got three kilns here to make charcoal here. We've got a decent amount of firewood to make into charcoal. Um, we have two more kilns here that are helping make some charcoal and we are still have the same amount over on this side. Uh, but hopefully that will help us because the people are using the charcoal when we have it over the firewood and so having it spaced out around the map will be helpful so they don't have to run all the way to the other side to get charcoal. This castle barn is done. The school is done. How many teenagers do I have? So let's see how many people are in this school. If it doesn't have all seven, it's six. So maybe I will just put somebody in here and um, the kids can decide which one to go to since there's two. Um, and then, so we're doing this hunting cabin now and this house. And I don't really need this stone quarry yet still. So I might just wait on that. Um, so maybe I will do this field before the stone quarry. So we have, can do more oats next year and put them into this. Um, oh, we better check on the fish. I'm gonna need more more ore. In this ore mine, wherever it is, somewhere in here. We have 12 people in there now, so eventually it is gonna run out. So maybe I will plan out where we're gonna put the next one, ore mine. I still kinda want it on this side somewhere because this is where we're making the tools, is right here. Oh, look at all of that right there that I covered up. There's not really a whole lot here. I mean, I guess I could just do another one in here for now and then do another one somewhere else later. I think 3,500 is the best we're gonna get, but I don't know where it went. There was definitely, there it is. And I'm gonna pause that. We don't need that right now. Or mine, stone mine. We'll work on that other field. Okay, the hunting cabin is done. I'm gonna take somebody out of there and put two people in there. So you can get more meat and hides there. And what are the gatherers doing? Labors. Oh, that's right. I did a whole bunch of stone and ore over here, which should be going into this. So we'll have extra on this side. And I should probably put down more stone roads too. Maybe I'll do that next year in the winter time because they have a lot that they're working on right now, so it's not really needed at the moment. Maybe I'll also start taking down some of the these um, mines that nobody is in. Yeah, so I'm pausing it. We'll make it so they de deconstruct it, which there's no use for it being there. I just didn't have enough people to, to do that. What? Oh, maybe I didn't do this one yet. Let me get in there. Okay, deconstruct that. 
which they are working on. And then I can have them work on this one as well. And there's more. I feel like there's so many around and this one, so they'll just get all those done. There may be another one, but I don't remember where it's at. It's late winter. Um, we should figure out what we're gonna do. I think I'm still gonna leave all these as oats. I'm not gonna use these right now because we have a lot of potatoes. We don't really need any more. I'm gonna leave this as oats. I might just leave them all as oats for now. Oh, that's right, I put another house here because I realized that this house was getting used by the people over here, I think. There's not really many houses up here. So these people were still living down here and it was taking them a long time to get in there. So hopefully, um, eventually, I do wanna build the other house across the way first, but I will build this soon to make sure that these people have somewhere to live um, that's close by their work. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave these both as oats. This is grass. Now we have some space in here to put the grass in there. Potatoes. Yeah, we're doing really good. We have four spots open right now with 11 children total. They will be, once this, this house is built, we're gonna have 10 more spots. So we're gonna be getting a lot more kids again. We're gonna need more people in here this year. This is still, oh, we're gonna need more people in here too. This one's still growing though, so that's not gonna need more. This one is two. This is still going. This one is restarted though, so I can put this down to one. And it is spring, so let's take it out. The miners, the miners. We've got a lot of builders, which I don't need. I'll just do that for now. Put in a bunch of farmers, and then I will eventually need to take more people out of something else. I'm trying to get this stuff done quickly. Oh, there we're, okay, that one's like half done because I pulled everybody out. I'm gonna pause this for now and uh, we'll get that later, but I want to get this field done soon so we can grow more oats and not have to worry about the pigs starving. I'm wondering if I make a little outpost here with the land and put a fishing Thing here if I would get a good amount of fish. I mean, it's not super deep. I don't want to go too far out though. Probably it would be better out here, but then they'd have to walk pretty far. I don't know. I could do it here. Just a little out farther so they have more water in the circle. You know, I'm gonna pause this too. I want them to go from here over to the field. I want to get that field done quickly. Oh, I don't have anybody in the bees. Oh, okay. We'll put two people in the bees. Okay, good. One in each, it looks like. We need more um, kilns over here. We have four, but we're using it so fast. I'm totally gonna put some more down. I might not build them for a little bit, but. Um, oh, I think this builder has to walk really far and that's why it's taking them so long. I'm just gonna um, take this person over really quick. Do I have to be inside to get it? Okay. So let's turn this into another oat farm and two people can go in there. So let's take out two of the builders and put them into there so we can get a lot of oats. I want to do a huge farm here. It's going to take a lot of oats to keep them, to keep them going. So, oh, and that house is done as well. So we have a lot of open spaces now. Okay, I'm going to have them build these two kilns. Um, and maybe we'll do the stone quarry, I don't know. Where they can help gather resources or something. Are they still doing all the stone and the ore over here? Yeah, they are, so it's gonna be a little bit. Okay, take out two more kilners, put them into the bees. Hopefully it's, yep, two and two, perfect. It is summer now, so I'm gonna start harvesting that and we'll put a couple people. I don't really need two people in here yet. Ooh. Okay, put some more in there. I'm gonna have the builders start helping gather some of this stuff. Are they, they're still getting all of this. I mean, it's nice to have all this over here though. Then we don't have to worry about get, bringing stuff from across the river anymore. I'm gonna take out two more kilners and put them into the honey, because I know we have a lot of honey. And I wanna make sure we get as much of it as we can. Oh my goodness, is this the end of the season for these apples already? That was quick. Somebody died of old age. I need to take, I'll take out a little builder for now. I wonder if I should turn this into something else this upcoming year. Maybe do more oats just so we have extra. 
on this side. So I think next year I'm gonna have this be oats. We're doing good on potatoes, so I'm not worried about it right now. You know what, I could totally turn one of these into fruit pie. Needs fruit and milk. We have a lot of milk and we have a lot of fruit and I wouldn't even have to really lock these because it's staying up there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Then maybe we'll have more meat because we're not using it for all the pies. I don't know. Okay, that looks like they're starting to get these trees. I'm gonna see if I can do a pig farm in this whole area. Oh my gosh, almost. Do I want one that big? Maybe I should do two separate ones? I don't know. I could do one like here. No, oh, but it's gonna still be too wide. What if I do one like here? Oh, I'm gonna need space for a tower too. I mean, I could just do a really big one and do the tower up in the upper right corner there by the field and rotate this to be oh that's not gonna be within that circle i mean this would i guess maybe really do want a big one though or i could do it starting over here rotate this so the doorway is up in the upper left corner and do one up there that might work oh i wanted another barn too so maybe i should do it a little bit like this put a barn in there a watchtower another uh well something like that i'll have to think about it see what we've got going on here well we don't really need 10 in here anymore i'll probably just do two because it's not um growing anymore and then let's start gathering that what are we doing over here mm, put another person in yeah, we don't have like any fruit on this side Maybe I should move some fruit over here. Um, what's this person doing? Okay, that's done. Eh, we'll let them move more potatoes right now. Okay, this one's almost done. This one is done. Come into the orchards. This one's done. In the orchards. This one's almost done. I'm gonna take out two people and put them in the orchards and then the other person can finish this up. Oh, lots of babies being born. And how are these guys doing? Oh, we definitely don't need three people in these. Yeah, I'm gonna just go down to two beekeepers total and put them into the orchard. They're not even gathering. Let's put another person in here and another person in here. Well, I think that that is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. And I'd love to hear from you. So if you haven't already, please leave me a comment below. I'll see you next time.